Hey y'all, it's Real McCoy 401. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the new subscribers that's going to go ahead and click on that red button down below. Welcome, child. Welcome. Welcome home. This is the Real McCoy 411 gang. My hair has been on a natural hair journey for one year, and now we're starting 2020, and I have accomplished my goals. And I'm about to accomplish some more goals. So, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. If you're already one of my subscribers, thank you so much for the support. I love you guys. I really do. I love, love, love you guys. And that's why I keep these videos coming. I keep these videos coming. I don't want y'all to miss not one step of my natural hair journey. to this I use soul tentacles and put up some twists for a protective style and it just needed to be refreshed but I wanted to add something to yeah I'm, I'm, you see me pulling on the length yeah the length wasn't there at the beginning of 2019 <laughs> trust me but you see me pulling on the length right okay um I wanted to add something to my twist, my protective style. And that is my DIY leave-in rice water. This is a leave-in conditioner with rice water. And I have it where the consistency is just the way I want it, just the way I want it. And I made a video, I put the video on YouTube no, I put the video on Facebook and people wanted to know, well, what's in it? Um, well, that'll dry your hair out. You're not supposed to leave it in your hair. It was a whole bunch of comments I got from all over the place. So I'm going to address those comments. Um, first of all, everybody wanted to know what's in it. Okay? So I'm going to tell you what's in it. And then I'm also going to tell, have down in the description what's in it. So you can make your own, okay? As I do that, though, I'm going to be spraying my hair with this leave-in rice water, with this rice water leave-in conditioner. And then I'm also going to be going in with some Blue Magic Shea Butter and retwisting my hair, okay? So, what's in the rice water? That's the big question. What's in it? It's really simple, guys. Yes, as I moisten my hair with the rice water leave in. And I, I go hard with it. I go hard with it. So you have fermented rice, right? Duh. Duh. You have fermented rice. And then what I do is I crush up a biotin. And that is a, a hair growing supplement. I crush up a biotin and I add it to my fermented rice water. I also add vitamin E oil to my rice water. I add grapeseed oil to my rice water. And I also add wild growth oil to my rice water okay now all this has to be combined let your rice water ferment i let my rice water ferment for like four 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 days i think it was four or five days i let it ferment so and then i cook it down i cook it to a creamy consistency where i can spray it on my hair make sure i get it on my roots you know and I add in Shea Moisture, leave-in conditioner. And I add in the Blue Magic Carrot Oil, leave-in. 
okay? Now, when you're fermenting your rice water, you want to go ahead and add an essential oil. Hopefully an, an essential oil that that you like. I add the calming, the calming, uh, calming. I hope I'm saying it right. Calming. Yes, I am. I don't want you dirty mind people to think something different. It's the calming. So let me show you guys. Hold on. Ran into a twist that wasn't untwist. Okay. Me. So that's all in my hair. It's in my hair. Here's the grapeseed oil. Now, first of all, let me go back. Ferment while your water is fermenting. Add your crushed biotin vitamin. Just add it, the powder in there while your rice water is fermenting. Okay? When you drain your rice water on your fourth, fifth day, third day, however long you want to do it, when you drain it, then that's when you have just the water. Then you go in, add it to your liking. Now, I cannot give you a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon. I don't do all that. I add to my liking wild growth oil. And this is just the, the vitamin, the biotin, 1000 MCG. Okay? And then I add in my vitamin E oil. Okay? This calming, that's already in there. That was in there while the rice water was fermenting. Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. I add that to it. And what gave it the color and made it smell like sherbet was my new ingredient. I hadn't added this before. It was the Blue Magic Carrot Oil. And this is a leave-in conditioner. It's the non-greasy formula. Ta-da! That's it. So when I when I started hearing, uh, reading the comments, well, it's gonna dry your hair out. I'll pass. I don't want that in my head. Da -da 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 -da. Well, it's not gonna dry your hair out because there are plenty of oils in here. There are oils in here, so it's not gonna dry your hair out. And now, if you do rice water by itself without adding some type of oil or vegetable glycerin or something like that, then yeah, it's going to dry your hair out. But as for me and my rice water leave-in conditioner, no. So what I want to get from you guys, what I want you to see now is where we at with hair. Okay. Right now we're coming to right below the collarbone. Hold on. Let me give you some shoulder. <laughs> right below the collarbone. My collarbone is right here. So the nape of my hair is right below the collarbone. All right? The front of my hair pretty much goes down to my upper lip, my top lip. Okay? So, I did that so you guys can see the growth once I started back. Because now I'm back using my rice water leave-in. I had stopped for a minute and I was using other products. And you can make it any consistency that you want. I know y'all like, damn, she is really spraying. Yes, I am. I'm spreading. I want every every bit of it. And I got some left in the refrigerator. <laughs> so when I run out of this, I got some out. Spray some out. Spray some out. The more you spray it, the more it grow. <laughs> that, that's a rhyme right there. And I get in. And it's a creamy consistency, guys. It is a creamy. Oh, it was one ingredient that I left out. One ingredient that I left out. I add the African Pride Pre-Poo. 
because that has the aloe vera in it and it also has the coconut water in it. So I add some of the aloe vera pretty poo. I forgot about that. Yeah. So my hair is ready now to be re-twist. So if you want to stick around for that part, I'm about to speed up the video. And I'm going to retwist my hair. And I'm going to be sealing in this rice water, sealing in this soul tentacles, because soul tentacles is still in my hair. And I'm going to be sealing that in with the Blue Magic Shea Butter Hair Conditioner. Yes. With coconut fruit extract. Come through, Blue Magic. Blue Magic say, no, all these natural hair lines and, and everybody coming up with this and that. Let's do our own thing. Let's do some Blue Magic stuff for natural hair. Let's, let's get out there. Let's get petroleum back in the game. Because petroleum is back in the game. Trust and believe. Petroleum is back in the game. Hold on. conditioner and sealed all in with my blue magic shea butter you guys my hair feels great um i could have re-shampooed my hair you know shampooed my hair conditioned deconditioned with it, but it wasn't time for all that it wasn't time for all that so i just refreshed my hair with my rice water leave-in conditioner and i sealed everything in including the sultanicals, okay? The slip from the sultanicals was still there as well. So I know that product is still working in my hair. And I just sealed it in with the Shea Butter Blue Magic. And my hair feels great. My hair feels soft. It's moisturized. It's not going to dry out, guys. Your rice water leave-in conditioner is what you make it. What you make it to be. So get creative, make you some rice water leave-in conditioner. I highly recommend that you use my little recipe. I don't have a cup or a half cup, all this. I don't have all that. You just do what you feel is best, like I do. Like an old school mama, like I am. You get in the kitchen and you cook and you, you don't measure stuff, you just cook from the heart. And I cooked up this recipe from my heart. So, and uh, Check back with me in about three months. Mm -hmm. Check back with me in about three months. Remember, we, we measured everything out. We got that nape going down here past the collarbone and all that kind of stuff. And look at those ends, y'all. If you got some scraggly ends after you finish twisting your hair or braiding your hair, clip those jokers off because they don't do nothing but stop your hair from continuing to grow. Split ends, dead ends, stop your hair from growing. The reason why I say that, and I have had to argue this fact, is because, yes, your hair will grow from your scalp. But when it gets down to the end, if your hair is split, guess what? It's going to split off. 
it's just going to be some dead split ends. And eventually, you're going to end up cutting them off when your hair could have just continued to just grow straight. So, think about it. Think about it. It's all a journey. It's all using your, your mind. Use your mind. That's, that's all I'm saying. It, use your mind. All right. So, on that note, uh, once again, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. If you watch this much of the video and you have not subscribed, that's just a shame. That's just a shame. Support a sister. Why not click? It's free. It don't cost nothing. It don't cost a thing. And then every time I put out a video, make sure you select on that notification bell all. Because I put out videos. I have had you guys following me on my natural hair journey from day one. When my hair was a hot mess. Okay? You learned the do's and the don'ts by watching my channel. And I confessed when things went wrong, I told the truth. So go ahead and subscribe. Watch me on Natural Hair Journey. Take from me what you need to take from me to help you on your natural hair journey. So on that note, I'm going to end this video. Keep God first with everything you do. In everything you do. With everything you do. Keep God first. If you're going to go to drive to the grocery store, tell God, go first. Because I'm telling you, without him being first in your life, it's going to be a rough, rough, rugged road, honey. But even in those hard times, if you got God first, you're going to find a peace that surpasses all understanding. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. So, uh, thumbnail. Oh, no. Thumbnail need to be woo -woo. See, I got some more of this in the refrigerator. You see that consistency, that milky? And I believe, I really believe, and then I'm going to let you guys go. I really do believe the smell came from the carrot oil and the, the mixture of the calming essential oil. These two things here, I think, is what gave my hair that my rice water leave-in that like a sherbet ice cream type it smells so good like the orange sherbet smells really good so okay guys see you in the next video and don't forget to go back and watch some of those old videos so you can see this did not exist this healthy hair right here the scalp all the way to the scalp to the ends did not exist but that journey was awesome and i've made it to this point and now I'm on to the new goals. All right, see you guys later. Bye.